Good morning, everybody. AmpRepairGuy.com, 203-892-4119. Also, HarbachElectronics.com. We have another Ameritron ALADB. I'll go over everything it needs. So, plate tune, air variable cap. Has damaged plates. I'll show it after I remove it. Socket had some heating. Probably had to grid to filament short, so... I looked at the clips. They look okay. I'm going to ground the grids right to the metal. Add the gas discharge tubes. Remove the metal oxide variesters, replace the SO239s, they don't have great grip. Uh, clean TR slash bias relay contacts, deoxic gold, soft start relay contacts, deoxic gold. Meter protection diode is shorted right here, so tube must have flashed. I'll clean the band switch and the input rotary switch contacts, deoxic gold. So I don't try to clean plates anymore because that's like a lot of times it's just it doesn't rejuvenate it to the point where it's at, you know, the same voltage breakdown as a stock one. So I always put a brand new one inside. I had bought up the stock from Ameritron and I'll have more made once I get close to running out. So, and these are not for sale right now. Eventually I'm going to start a Ameritron page on the Hardbox site. So... Brand new, brand new, brand new. Not an easy thing to replace. Knobs have to come off, panel has to come off. Very delicate procedure. So, I'm going to get to work, and I will see you guys in a bit. Stay tuned. Okay, so the old one is out. See the damage. There. It's been arcing in between. Look how easily it spins, too. It's hard to do. This one isn't as bad, but... The other one... The load side... It wouldn't stay in place. You just let go and it would go, doo -doo, you know, back and forth, back and forth. So now the plates are centered. I had to loosen the nut and tighten up on the screw just the hair to push the plates that way. Because the plates, the ones that rotate at ground potential were closer to the fixed ones. They were, you know, they were shifted that way. So, right, so I'm going to install the new one. I'll get rid of some of this dust. And, uh... Get back to work. See you guys soon. Okay, so I'm back with the completed Ameritron ALADB. So something the customer did not tell me was he was using it on FT8. FT8 is really hard on an amplifier and a transceiver. So you need to go buy the manual and the specifications for that mode of operation. That would explain why the strap, the anode strap, was like cooked. I replaced it. So I'm going to go over everything I did real quick. And then I'm going to go relax. It's been a long day. So, new strap. Tube flashed from the anode back to the filament. High voltage back fed through the board. Took out the bias circuit. Dynamic bias. Replaced this device. A couple transistors. Also damaged. The mica cap, since it was on 20 meters, damaged the 20 meter mica cap for the Pi input. High voltage go through it, so change that. The wafer looks okay, the contact on it, so that's good. Cleaned it. New air variable capacitor on the plate side. I showed that before. Added the gas discharge tubes. Grounded the grids right to the metal. Tighten up on hardware. Fix the plate issue on the load side. Showed that before. Touch up, touch up on solder joints. Place the SO239 connectors. Clean the relay contacts really well with deoxid gold. Clean the input rotary switch and the output rotary band switch with deoxid gold. These, a couple of these nuts were actually loose between the standoff and the bottom of the socket, so I tightened those up, tightened up the four nuts on the top. So 
that's about it. So, if you need an amplifier repaired, feel free to give me a call. Phone number is 203-892-4119. Website's ampreparegrad.com. My other website is harbachelectronics.com. Oh, by the way, I picked up the Henry AK Ultra today from the shipping depot. So that's in the crate in the back of my truck. It's a factory original AK. Got the uh, RF deck, the desktop controller, a spare Peter Dahl plate transformer. So I'm going to go through that. If I can fix it, I'm going to go through it, fix it, sell it. If not, if there's too much wrong with it, I'm going to part it out. I hate to part it out. I'm going to try my best not to part it out. But, you know, we'll see what happens. So, if, any, if there's anyone interested in a Henry AK Ultra, and if I can get it back to factory or better condition, it'll have all the updates and everything, then send me a message. It won't be cheap, but it will work. And I'll show some videos on it. It'll be a fun series of videos. I have no interest in it. I already owned one in the past. Uh, it'll be a project. And uh, as I said, I uh, prefer to sell it as a working unit. Otherwise, I will strip it. The parts are very rare. So um, they will not be cheap. So thanks for watching. Have a great day. Please like, share, and subscribe. 73.